Hello, I'm David Hess, the Chair of Biology at Santa Clara University. And today I'll be telling you about the biology program at Santa Clara University. My contact information is on this first slide. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions you have about our program. I'm sure you've heard a lot about the Sperato campus for discovery and innovation if you're interested in the biology department, but I also want to take a moment um, to touch on it as we're very excited um, in the biology department to move into this new state-of-the-art facility in fall of 2021. This will house the entire biology department, our lower and upper division laboratory classes, most of our lectures, our research labs, and biology offices. This really will be the hub uh, for biology on the campus, and it's very exciting to move uh, to be moving into such a new state-of-the-art facility. And it's that classroom experience, which is one of um, the real unique um, features of Santa Clara University. We have small class sizes. Um, our lab classes are taught by the professors that are teaching the lectures. They're not taught by graduate students, um, as you'll see at many larger universities. We really get to know our students. We have an up-to-the-date uh, life science curriculum, which I'll tell you about on the next few slides. We stress hands-on learning in the field and laboratory. Um, our courses and our major is relevant to a number of graduate and professional programs, as well as careers in biotechnology. And Santa Clara's Jesuit identity and mission really manifest through our program in community service and outreach. The biology major at Santa Clara University has a foundation of calculus, chemistry, and physics, as well as our new introdu introductory biology experience. The old intro series was five courses, but only two of those had laboratory components. The new series is three courses, so it's streamlined in terms of content, but each one of those classes now has a lab component to it. The students will move, start with the foundations of energy and matter, then they move into information and evolution. So this is everything from information encoded at the DNA level up to evolutionary effects um, with natural selection. And the last is a more integrated approach looking at systems, both cellular systems and ecological systems. Students then in the biology major take seven upper division courses, five of which with a major laboratory component um, from a variety of topics. So you're able to shape your upper division experience based on your interests. Here's a picture from that new intro series showing students working, getting that bench lab experience. And here's another showing them out of the field in the intertidal zones, making measurements and learning how to do field biology. Um, this is a, 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 another um, of our upper division classes, marine ecology, and the students are coming back from a field trip out to Elkhorn Slough, where they're learning about um, the introduction of uh, a keystone uh, species, uh, the otter, of, and how that transformed the Elkhorn, Elkhorn Slough as a ecosystem. Here is our upper division neurobiology classes, and students are presenting the research that they did in the lab component that, uh, that quarter um, in a poster session. And that lets me touch on undergraduate research, which is one of the real features of the biology department at Santa Clara University. Our students work with, um, our, our, sorry, our faculty work closely with students in the lab. We don't have masters or graduate students. Um, so student researchers um, really drive discovery in our laboratories. We have labs that are funded by major um, foundations like the National Science Foundation, National Institutes of Health, California Department of Fish and Wildlife. Students will travel locally and abroad to both conduct research and to present their research at conferences. Um, this is um, uh, students, um, and you'll see many of these students will be noted as uh, being on fellowships. We have a number of research fellowships that offer summer support for students um, doing research at Santa Clara University. So these are students studying worm development in uh, Dr. Miller's lab. Here's um, 
uh, a student working in Dr. Whittall's lab um, in the greenhouse processing samples that they took in the field. Here's another set of students working in Dr. Kokas's lab studying uh, neuronal development. And here are students in uh, Dr. McCauley's lab studying the computational um, models of protein folding, and they're presenting um, their works at various conferences. And lastly, uh, Dr. some pictures from students in Dr. Dahlhoff's lab, um, a favorite amongst many students, um, doing their field work that they do every summer um, in the high Sierras at between 11 and 14,000 feet, studying climate change, climate change effects on beetles. As I mentioned, there's a number of um, uh, funding opportunities uh, for students that want to do research um, at Santa Clara University. And where students used to have to put in five, six, seven different applications, we now have a streamlined application through the real um, portal. Um, and this allows students to have one application and to apply to many of these summer research fellowships. As I mentioned before, um, there are several majors um, uh, that uh, uh, are involved in life sciences on campus and take our intro series. This is public health science, biochemistry, bioengineering, envir environmental science, and the new neuroscience program. Many of our students either double major or get a minor in one of these other degrees. Um, and there are many um, of our biology majors uh, both study abroad, several are athletes, um, and many are in the university honors program. Lastly, I just want to talk about how um, our students go on to a variety of successful careers. Many of our students go on to pre-health professions, to medical school, physician's assistant, dental nursing, um, and many of our other students have gone on to pursue their PhDs um, and are now scientists either in academia or in biotechnology. And many of our students get jobs in biotech directly out of um, Santa Clara with just their bachelor's degree. Thank you for listening and I hope this presentation was helpful.